Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to select a data frame column using a character vector in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the top right of RStudio a new data frame object is appearing and we can also have a look at this data frame by clicking on the data frame object and then you will see that our data consists of five rows and three columns x1, x2 and x3. For the example we also need to create a vector of character strings which is containing the column names of our data and this is what we can do with line 6 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you will see that another data object appears at the top right, which is called data calls. And this data object is consisting of the column names of our data. So let's assume that we want to extract the first column x1 from our data frame. Then you might try to do that based on the dollar operator as you would usually do when you want to extract a column of a data frame. And you might try to extract only the first column by subsetting our character string for the index position 1. However, if you run this line of code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console the value null is returned. And this is because the dollar operator is not able to extract columns based on a character string. And for that reason we need to use an alternative way to extract our column x1. And this is what I'm showing you in, in line 11 of the code. So in this line of code I'm using the square brackets to subset our data. And within these square brackets I'm separating our data with a comma. So everything you would write in front of the comma would specify the rows that we want to extract and everything that you write after the comma is extracting the columns that we want to extract. So in this case, as I have told you before, we want to extract only the first column of our data and for that reason we can simply use our column names vector data calls and subset this vector for the first column and then if you run the whole line of code you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console only the values that are contained in the first column are returned. So as you have seen in this video, square brackets can be used to extract data columns from a data frame based on a vector of character strings. And this can be used dynamically in a for loop, for example, or in a while loop, or also in functions. And for that reason, it is sometimes better to use square brackets instead of the dollar operator. If you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because I have recently published a tutorial on the homepage in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you could check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you give me a thumbs up on the video and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new R programming videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.